Hello traders and welcome to Grok Trade. My name's Dez and it is Tuesday, July 5th, 2011 and the market's in mix. We have the Dow down, the S&P down, but we have the Nasdaq Russell's leading the charge with the Nasdaq doing fairly well up 0.35%. Banks lagged the broad markets all day long, holding the markets down. We have the bank index, which is the largest financial index out there of banks. And that was down 0.6%. Volatility index is up 2.2%. Gold and silver spike up very nicely. All commodities did. We have crude oil up 2.2%. US dollars up 0.4%. Putting a little pressure here on the markets. And so we also have transportation not... I've uh, given any support to the Dow. So take a look here at the S&P. I want you to look at this daily chart and tell me after the best week we've had in two years, what type of reversal pattern we have here. I am going to give you the answer at the end of this video. So stay tuned on that. But we have this nice run. We're up one, two, three, four, five. And now day number six. And we're stalling out even below here, the 1340 number. I think we're going to run into some resistance at 1343 and 1345 if we can get up there in that area itself. But this is a big run, nice and extended. We're above all major moving averages coming into a lot of resistance if we can get up there. So this is very crucial, a time to be watching these markets tomorrow and that would be july 6 7 a.m eastern standard time we have the mortgage index coming out and then i'm um, at 8 15 eastern we have the adp employment change number which will give us indication of what's coming down the pike when it comes to employment at 10 a.m we have the ism so a little bit of news tomorrow that could help the markets go one direction or the other. As per usual, I'll be doing a pre-market video that you can watch usually about a half hour before the markets open to give you an idea of what's taking place there in the markets. Now, what type of reversal patterns do we have here? Let's blow this up, take a look at it. Uh, we have three. We have tweezer top. A little more exotic reversal pattern, but we also have the bearish harami, and we also have a hanging man. Technically, a hanging man would have a lower shadow, two times or more that of the body. We don't quite have that, but it's close enough. So those would be the three tweezer tops where we have equal highs after an extended run. Bearish harami, which means being pregnant in Japanese. This is inside the body. Of the white one, you can see we're slightly down, but definitely higher. And then you have your hanging man, which is just a hammer at the top of an extended run to the upside. But this is only confirmed if and only if we make a new low going down. So I would say we need to get down below 1333 to be confirmed. So uh, if we do get down to the area, I'd be very careful going long. And uh, might be looking forward picking up some shorts. Matter of fact, if you do get that, because the next couple of candlesticks could be gnarly on the pullback, but on the big picture here, we have a big symmetrical triangle, and we're just having to be at resistance of it, and we could continue to bounce around here. So expect volatility to increase and a lot of choppiness here in the markets. Take care and very safe trading to you. And listen, here in a couple of days, we're going to be doing a free educational webinar. More details to follow. Be watching your email box.